We're all familiar with the Christmas Carol, Away in a Manger, uh, written not by Martin Luther, but written in the 19th century, and it was uh, aimed mainly at children. It contains the lines, the cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. Rubbish, wrong, no way. The one born in Bethlehem was completely human. He needed to be fed and changed just as we all did when we were babies and when we were utterly dependent on those caring for us. Babies communicate by the only means available to the newly born, by crying to gain attention. Amazing, isn't it? That God the Son, the one by whom the worlds were made, as it says in the uh, start of John's Gospel, that part that gets read out uh, quite often at the start of carol services. Amazing that God the Son chose to limit himself by becoming human, which uh, included all the limitations of babyhood. Truly, he laid aside his majesty with all the abilities and powers that were his by right. Whereas, as God the Son, <laughs> I'm sure he could have communicated by speaking any of the languages of angels or of human beings. Okay, when you're, when you're writing poetry, you've got to fit in words that rhyme and scan, so I don't want to be too critical, but uh, no way uh, is it correct to say no crying he makes. Uh, Jesus became an infant to identify completely with us and all the limitations of being a human being, which would later include family responsibilities, as well as things like being misunderstood, being criticised, and even for him, being tortured and crucified. So let's not dumb down the amazing reality of the incarnation, that is, of, of God becoming a human being, by uh, suggesting that as a baby he didn't cry. As soon as a baby's born, the main thing we want the tiny one to do is to cry. Otherwise, we begin to fear there's something wrong. Christ Jesus came into this world not as a fully grown 30-year-old adult, but as a baby with all the needs, limitations and dependence that a baby has. And that baby is alive now, though with a resurrection body. He's exalted and worshipped by the hosts of heaven, and he will come again to earth at the appointed time as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, fully human and fully divine. He who was born as a normal human baby will return, God the Son, the author and finisher of our faith, the great high priest touched with the feeling of our infirmities, the light of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the Lamb of God who has taken away the sins of the world, Emmanuel, God with us, the Lord Jesus Christ. Incidentally, the Bible account has no mention of animals being about. It just says that the baby was placed in a manger. We might be right wide of the truth when we picture the crib surrounded by cows and sheep, etc. But we are most certainly wide of the truth when we say, no crying he made. 